Justin Hager. I'm the head, uh, I'm the associate head men's basketball coach, assistant football coach, and head junior varsity uh, softball coach at Mount Point High School. Uh, I've known Bianca since she's been uh, eighth grader, probably down at uh, Cibola High School. I was the former head girls basketball coach. Um, she's come to all of our clinics, all of our camps. Since she's been an eighth grader, so we sort of work with her individually. Uh, eighth grade, her incoming year is as far as being a freshman. And so she sort of attended workouts and, and, uh, and just participated in our off-season program. It, you know, when she first came, she was very inexperienced. She did not play middle school basketball, so she was lacking a lot of the fundamentals. And, and knowing the game itself, was you know, the basketball IQ wasn't at the level where it needed to be. And so she was very raw, but we've seen a lot of potential in her coming in, uh, which made us uh, even more excited to start working with her and developing her skills and uh, her basketball IQ. Uh, Bianca is, is uh, for her size, she's, very, she's, she's, she's more active than what people may think. Um, she's developed her game over the years as far as, I mean, she, she does a great job as far as positioning her body in order to get rebounds. Um, she's a lefty, so she does a good job as far as uh, attacking the basket on that side, but uh, she makes a difference in the game. I mean, you have to account for her because she's always around the basket. Um, I think some people uh, think, and she runs the floor real well, so some people think she may not be able to run the floor, but she does a good job of getting uh, end to end, and a lot of the things that we've worked on with her was working on her running the floor, because that was one of her deficiencies coming in, obviously with her condition and some of the things, which she really worked hard on improving that herself and pushing herself uh, to get in better shape as far as to be able to go up and down and, and be able to guard a more athletic post uh, without fouling and getting in good position. Uh, one of the things that we work on uh, daily is our, our post outlets and rim running, what we call it. So uh, though we do those every single day with a variety of different drills and techniques as far as rebounding the ball, keeping the ball high, and looking for our point guard to get the ball to the floor. Uh, Bianca played in an offense that was traditionally pressing, running, trapping, um, and so she had to get herself we wanted to get the ball out quick, so a lot of our, a lot of our offense was based on our defensive transition and getting back, pushing the ball, and uh, creating turnovers. So her getting the ball out quick, we really emphasized with all of our post players, and uh, you know she, she can make a goal that pass almost to half court on, on a rope. So I mean she does a good job with that. You know as far as what she what she brings to the table, being a good teammate. Being there for teammates is one thing, um, and uh, c commitment. You know she's committed, and uh, she knows what she what she wants to do to, to get to the next level. She knows what it takes. She's seen it. Uh, she's been exposed to it, uh, and and now for her, uh, the thing that she's improved on the most over the years is her work ethic. That would be the fourth. Well, I was to throw fourth in there because she didn't like to work hard coming in. She she uh, she had to buy into the program as far as expectations what we wanted to do. And uh, once she said, hey, you know, this is the way it's going to be. Either you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do what we want you to do. You, you, you know, you're not going to be here. And so um, she's developed all those three great qualities um, over the years. And I think she's earned a lot of respect from her teammates because she's shown those three things. I think she's a diamond in the rough. I think she's rare. The, the post player has sort of been, been gone out of the game now. Now a lot of teams are going stretch five, stretch four. I think she brings another dynamic to the program. Um, she's going to do whatever you want her to do. I think she's, uh, her just presence in the paint, she can give you between eight to 12 points, you know, eight to 10 rebounds a game, just judging by her size and what she brings to the table. And uh, I think she, I think all coaches got to look at her and give her a shot and see how she fits in their style of the program. But if they're looking for a post player um, to come in and, and, and make a difference, that's, that's sort of a diamond in the rough that maybe not a lot of people look at just because of the location. I think they, they got to take a chance on her, at least give her an opportunity. And, and uh, I think once she gets playing against a higher level every single day, and I don't think she's met her road to her potential yet, I think she can get a lot better. And that's the scary thing about it. And I think once she starts practicing against a high level competition every day, it's going to motivate her to even push herself more. I got a text message a little while ago from her pops. We're chatting away. Let me see. 
So this was today. I'm going to put that on there. But yeah. it was today at 10.19 a.m. This is from her pops. Meanwhile, Bianca had a 15-point game Tuesday night versus Vista Grande High School. Are you surprised by that? No. No, I'm not surprised by it. Heard doing that to Vista Grande, you know, nothing again. You know, I, I figured, uh, not knowing a lot about Vista Grande, but there's not a lot of post players in Division Three her size. I mean, to me, that's expected, and I expect that from her every game, um, as long as she's given the opportunity to do that. She can do that every single game, and if I was there coaching her, uh, I would expect it from her, and I would tell her that every day. Uh, but she needs to be told that. She needs to be pepped up every day. You know, you need to keep building on that. And uh, double double for her every game would be the expectation for her. I'm holding on for you to come.